This is our third time in Quartzsite, Arizona, boondocking, camping, going to the RV show, playing around. And I think almost every single thing about Quartzsite has probably been said in a YouTube video. We're certainly not gonna try to make that video, but I will say this, there is a way to hack Quartzsite. We did it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to survive Quartzsite and I get price gouged. Did you know that you can buy burgers here for a dollar and they're really good? Really good burgers. So we're gonna break, that, break this down into categories. We're gonna start with the best place to park your RV in an RV park and quite frankly, per capita, Quartzsite has gotta be the most congested RV park there's there's tons of them within a three mile area we're going to tell you which one's the best we're also going to break down this into category as far as internet goes where do you want to camp if you have a hot spot and what is the best plan out here right now to have we're going to tell you that location i'm also going to tell you the best food now food it's a commodity here in quartzite some places are good, some places are fast food. I'm gonna tell you the best, where to get the best value for your dollar. And there are times during the day where you can score and eat a whole good meal for pretty cheap. I'm gonna tell you that too. Then we're gonna also break, that, break this down on the best places to camp. Where are all these boondocking places and BLM lands? Where is the best place, the good place? What's good, different, is it all, is it all the same? Are there are good places to go? Is there a difference between the party place and the I want complete solitude place? Yes, there is, and I'm gonna share that with you also. So let's get kind of started and break all these different categories down. Let's go. Now driving around Quartzsite for the entire day, going to every single RV park to find out what their amenities are, what they offer, what the price is, we found the best value for the price as far as amenities go is Quail Run RV Park. Why? All of their sites are on slabs. It's a larger park. They have all the amenities you want, water, sewer, electrical hookup, everything. They even have a cafe. They have Wi-Fi. Eh, it's okay, but none of these places are gonna have great Wi-Fi. So don't have high expectations with Wi-Fi, but it is a nicer, cleaner RV park. So Quail Run really for about 35 to 36, $40 a night, depending on what slot you get, that is gonna be the best value for the buck. It's very, very close to Quartzsite and Main Street in of itself. It's only a few blocks away, uh, maybe a few miles away. Um, it's very close to the RV pit stop and other different amenities out there. So we found as far as location, um, you know, amenities go, price, cl close proximity to Main Street um, and Quartzsite. And if you're here doing the RV tent show, it's right on almost the same road that you would go to park anyway. So Quail Run is our favorite RV park and I went to every single one of them Quartzsite. It took me all day. Quail Run is the best. So after driving around Quartzsite, I started doing bandwidth tests. I found something curious and new that happened in Quartzsite just a few years ago. They built a new cell tower. That new cell tower is right across from High Jolly. If you don't know where High Jolly is, High Jolly is right off of 95 going towards Parker. It is a 14 day BLM uh, place to camp. They do have a camp host on site, but guess what's right across from High Jolly? A brand new cell tower. That brand new cell tower is a T-Mobile cell tower that we also believe is piggybacking on the AT&T network. Um, only because my speeds were incredible at that location. I had the best internet. I had the strongest cell service with AT&T that I've been able to find anywhere else. So if you have an AT&T plan or if you have a T-Mobile plan, I would probably go to High Jolly if you want that fast download speed. Of course, depending on what plan you have, you're gonna get cell pri priority. But High Jolly seems to be, in what I've tested, was one of the best areas for 
AT&T and T-Mobile. So that is that area. So of course, all the questions then become, well, what about other BLM lands? What about La Posa? What about Plumosa? What about Skadden Wash? What about Tyson Wash? But all the other areas that you can, uh, you can, you can park in. The one thing I will say is that because everything is very uh, close proximity to I-10, that you're gonna have good internet no matter where you go, whether you're Verizon or T-Mobile. Now we come back to Skadden Wash. I'll get that to the, get to that in a minute because Skadden Wash is actually closer to a Verizon tower relay um, and it's high up. So if you know where to point your directional antenna, if you have one, you can get some pretty good Verizon internet back in Skadden Wash. Um, and, but everything's pretty close to High 10, Dome Rock, uh, you know, good internet. Uh, the farther you go west from Quartzsite, it does start getting a little bit spotty, but there are places that have good internet, uh, absolutely. So, hi Jolly. T-Mobile, AT&T, that's your best place for cell service. So I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, but Scott, we can just go to the Quartzsite Library and get free Wi-Fi. Absolutely you can, but you have to remember, hundreds of people already know that. That word is out, folks. I mean, if you think you're getting the lowdown on that, uh, you're, you're wrong, and you're gonna be in for a rude awakening when you go out there at noon, and there's uh, the parking lot is completely packed with people. You're not gonna get good Wi-Fi, it's gonna be slow. So the best time to get the free Wi-Fi at the Quartzsite Library is early, early in the morning, probably as sun is coming up, and yes, there are people already there, and or late at night. Do not, do not count on the free Wi-Fi at the Quartzsite Library as your only source for internet. It just isn't gonna happen during uh, different times of the day. Again, if you need to pull in there at two o'clock in the morning, you might have to pull out there at two o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I know this is gonna be kind of controversial. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments on there. If you have a better place, uh, then I'm about to say for the best BLM land location, uh, post it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you, be nice. Uh, this is just my opinion based on bandwidth, internet, and solitude. So the best BLM area that we think is in and around Quartzsite area is Skadden Wash. Skadden Wash is, it can be anything you want it to be. There are places that you can come back here that you are gonna be all by yourself there's not going to be anybody here up until the time that uh, some of the old RTR people start coming back here, which we ran into that, that you saw on our last video. Um, so that is, the, as far as internet and privacy and solitude, that is, in our opinion, one of the better places for quiet peace, um, probably between the beginning of January and the middle of January, and then come back. Uh, probably in the middle of February if you are snowbirds and you're spending winter down here. Scat and Wash, by far, most solitude BLM area in Quartzsite. If you don't want solitude and you want to be around the party crowd or you just want a whole bunch of people on top of you or around you or maybe you're caravanning, La Posa South is still the better place to go. We went to Plamosa all the way out there and, and yeah, there are a lot of RVs back there. These are all good places. There's not really one bad or good. It's really gonna be about who you're caravanning with or who you wanna hang out with. But La Posa South does seem to be the place to go for the long-term RVer. You can pay, it is a long-term uh, area. They do have a camp host on site. You can get a 30-day permit for $80 that you can get right on site there. Um, and you can spend a whole month and not have to worry about the 14-day limit issue. Uh, there were a lot of people out there. We met Traveling Robert out there. We met New Horizons out there. Um, it is a very, um, robust area and you can have a lot of fun out there if you know some people um, but yet there all these BLM land there's really not that much different it just depends on do you want solitude or do you want a lot of people around you if you can make those two choices um, it's pretty easy to pick where you want to go but La Posa South is still the most popular place for the parties. 
Okay, so you break down, you need some repairs done, um, or you just need to buy some RV supplies, gadgets, maybe your water pump filter went out, maybe your water pump went out. Where is the best place to get that in Quartzsite? In our opinion, and what we looked at, was the RV lifestyle parts and service area. That is on the frontage road off and by the Love's truck stop, which is the last exit if you're going west, the first exit if you're coming east. It's at the Love's Truck Stop, it's on the frontage road and parallels I-10. Yeah, they're a little bit pricey. It's all pricey out here, you guys. It's all a little bit pricey. They know they have you and they know you're gonna buy something, right? So, but their customer service was really good. I, I was able to talk to them. Um, you know, they, they really do, did seem like they wanted to fit people in. Um, they were almost apologetic that they're so backlogged as everybody else is in 2020 to try to get people in if they need service work on a timely matter. However, I will give you this hack. If it's a light repair or something that you think you could do, I would stop in there, kind of lean over to the customer service guy because he's really nice and say, hey, I have this problem. Any advice? You probably get some free advice and some good advice just over the counter by going in there and asking them. I don't think they want to work on your camper any more than you want your camper worked on or your RV, or RV worked on. So try to get that advice. They are good at customer service. They're probably going to give you a really good tip that you might just be able to fix that yourself and spend and save the $110 an hour on labor. That is the RV lifestyle parts and service. Those guys are good guys. Go in there and talk to them and you might be able to fix it yourself. Food, food, food. Everybody's hungry in Quartzsite, that's for sure. There's a few places to go. There's a few places that I would not go, but here is what we found out about the food. So I'm gonna name the, the best places to go and get the best value for food. So the very first place that we absolutely love that was really a huge, huge shock to this Chicago boy who grew up in Chicago was Al's Pizza. Wow, do they have a good pie. And they have real Italian sausage. How they get that out in the desert, kudos to them. Um, you get the Goliath Pizza. Yeah, they have very friendly service. They really try to get you in there. They are, uh, you know, you have to wear a mask um, when you walk in, but once you're at the table, you're fine during the pandemic. Um, but they really, really do have great customer service and it's really good pizza. Our recommendation is get the Goliath, take it home from leftovers because you're gonna wanna eat. If you like cold pizza like I do, you're gonna love this pizza. It is really, really good, good pizza. Um, and they offer really good service. So Al's Pizza, they have indoor dining right now, or you can call in and take out. I think that's some of the best pizza I've had in a long time. I had in Quartzsite, Arizona. Who knew? Food is kind of expensive here in Quartzsite, so you always look for the best value for the dollar that you're spending. And we found the best value is Yacht Club. That is right on Main Street. During the RV show, they have 2195 steak night, and it's just not a broken slab piece of meat. It is really good steak. Not only do you get the steak cooked to however you want it, but you got a gigantic baked potato, you get a salad, and you get two side dishes, and it's a big meal for $21.95. That starts after 2 p.m during the RV show. Now, when the RV show is over, they go to All You Can Eat Fish. All You Can Eat Fish is also after two o'clock p.m. And, and usually there's nobody there. So if you wanna eat early and have an early dinner between Al's Pizza and Yacht Club, you wanna try to get there before everybody starts coming out and looking for food. The earlier, the better. Yacht Club, Al's Pizza, best value for the buck. But if you're really hungry, and you really are a budget conscious person like I am, and $21.95 for one meal is kind of pricey, and a big pizza at Al's is kind of pricey, you want to go to Beer Belly's Bar right at in Tyson's Wash. It's been there forever. It's right by the tent, by the big RV tent when it's up. Otherwise, it's in the vendor area, Beer Belly's Bar, after four o'clock, they make $1 burgers with just a load of onions on there. If you don't like the onions, you could probably get one without the onions, but for $1, you get a burger, you can put all the condiments you want yourself on it, 
it's and have a sit down and have a beer so you can have a beer and a burger for under five dollars in quartzite arizona and the burgers are good just don't talk to the cook so one of the things in quartzite everybody's always looking for is water not a lot of water in the desert but there is a place to go fill up for free and that is at the pilot truck stop in between mcdonald's and pilot where the rv pull throughs are for mcdonald's there's a water spigot right there pilot is is they're good to go i've asked them three times if i can get water there they said that's fine it's potable water it's good water all they're asking you is not to like make a mess over there and uh you know try to stay out of a congested area they don't want you to park there they want you to because it is a no parking uh, place right there just park in um right off the side there by between mcdonald's and pilot and you can fill up your water there um i've been filling up since we've been here they've been really nice uh free water or you can go to the RV pit stop. The RV pit stop is off of 95. It's very close to the Quail Run RV park. They also will give you water and let you dump there. Of course, there is a charge for water and dumping at the RV pit stop, but those guys are really good too. So you can always just stop like an Indianapolis 500 pit stop guy and get your water in and out quick, or you can go to the RV pit stop and have everybody else do it for you. You just have to pay for it. But that is the free water and filtered water locations in Quartzsite. Okay, so you've been here for a while, you've done the RV kind of show under the tent, <laughs> you've gone to all the vendors, you've done just about everything you can in Quartzsite. So what are the fun things to do in and around town? So I'm gonna give you the top three things that you need to do. This is a must list. No one ever tells you this on any of the other YouTube channels. First thing you wanna do in Quartzsite pack it up, make a day of it, and drive out to Parker, Arizona, which is really only 40 miles north of Quartzsite, about 40 minute drive, and you wanna to go to the Desert Bar. The Desert Bar is awesome. It is a bar in the middle of the desert. They have good music, they have good times, you can play horseshoes, you can have some drinks, sit down with your friends, um, and it is an experience in of itself you want to take the road it's about a six mile road to get in the road is bumpy for sure so be patient you're not going to get there fast but it's right outside of parker there are no signs there are no roads there's just a turn off when you get to the top of the hill in parker you want to make a right and uh you go down this forest road and all of a sudden there's a brown sign that says the desert bar and you just keep on going i'll gps that location on the bottom of our YouTube, so you can actually just put the GPS coordinates in and find the desert bar yourself if you're in Quartzsite. But it's a must do, you gotta go out there. It's the only outside bar in the middle of the desert I've ever seen, and it's really, really, really good time. So the other thing you have to do in Quartzsite is you've got all this BLM land all over, but did you know you have a national refuge right next door? That's the Kofa National Refuge, right next door to Quartzsite. I mean, it's right there. And it is a beautiful area. You can also boondock in Kofa also. They've got a area called Palm Canyon. Now what's Palm Canyon? Palm Canyon is really a just a small little canyon. There's a hiking trail that you can climb up. And I mean, you have to climb up. It's a good climb. You, you're gonna be bouldering a little bit, but you actually see an oasis in the desert, a real oasis in the desert. There's just palm trees everywhere you can go in this little canyon slot and there's just palm trees palm trees growing out of nowhere and it's really really a cool place you can also come back and then go circle the labyrinth the labyrinth is this big gigantic labyrinth in the middle of the desert it's right off the main road you can pull your rv there stop hike the labyrinth and that's in the kofa national refuge it's a must do you got to go to the palm canyon it's really really cool Third, top three things you've got to do while you're in Quartzsite and how to hack Quartzsite and have some fun out here is you've got to go off-roading. There is one of the largest, or it is the largest off-road trail in Arizona called the Peace Trail. And that is right by the police station in Quartzsite. Yeah, you can just go off-roading. You can either rent an off-road, bring your Razor if you're towing it, or if you have a four-wheel Jeep or a four-wheel car, like a Subaru, 
go do the peace trail you don't have to do the whole thing it is 625 miles that might be a little bit of a long day but you can certainly do 30 miles of it and then come back to courtside and have fun it is a blast you're gonna get dusty so you're, you're gonna want to have a scarf and goggles uh, if you do it when it's a little rainy you're gonna be, be full of mud but it is a lot of fun to do the peace trail if you are an off-road adventurous or if you just like to go and uh, just go play on a dirt road. This is the road for you. It's the Peace Trail in Quartzsite, Arizona, right off, right next to the police station in Quartzsite. It's actually right by Discount Solar, behind Discount Solar by the police station in Quartzsite. It's called the Peace Trail. Look it up, 625 miles, and it's gonna give you some really cool views, and it gives you a chance to just get out and get some fresh air in Quartzsite. Okay, so let's summarize. Free water, free camping, $1 burgers. I mean, don't get sucked into all the price gouging that happens in Quartzsite, especially during winter and especially during the RV tent show. You can find some really good deals out here, but you can also spend a lot of money here if you're not careful, so look around. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it kind of gave you a little bit of a uh, different perspective on how to hack Quartzsite, how to save some money, and how to have some fun because, you know, who wants to be stuck in an RV editing YouTube videos all day? We guys, see you on the road. Bye.